I'd like to just set the stage by talking about the power of partnering with patients in net patient care research and education. There is an extensive ecosystem of patient advocacy, really internationally. Some of these examples stem from my own experiences in North America, but really there are parallel organizations in many countries. There are local regional opportunities for patient advocacy through hospitals, cancer centers, patient support groups, and local foundations. From a national perspective, there are opportunities through the National Cancer Institute, American Cancer Society, the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, Friends of Cancer Research, national and international foundations, and even professional societies. And in fact, I think that now is really the time that patient advocacy will come to the forefront due to a convergence of many factors, one of which is that our National Cancer Institute director, Dr. Monica Bertinoli, was announced to have breast cancer in late 2022. She's quoted as saying, having been an oncologist my entire career, it was always and still is all about the patients and survivors for me. It's one thing to know about cancer as a physician, but it's another to experience it firsthand as a patient as well. Additionally, the presidential theme for the American Society of Clinical Oncology 2023 annual meeting was partnering with patients, the cornerstone of clinical care and research. Um, the president for 2023 um, ASCO was Dr. Eric Weiner, who also happens to be my cancer center director at Yale Cancer Center. And he picked this theme because of really the importance of partnering with patients as a foundation for everything from patient care to research and clinical trials to education. So I think that there are a number of wonderful examples of how we as physicians can partner with patients as advocates. Um, this is an example um, entitled Patient Advocates and Researchers as Partners in Cancer Research, a winning combination um, with um, many familiar names as authors, including Josh Mailman. But this is an example of how through the National Clinical Trial Network, um, part of the United States, but really as an example for how we partner through clinical trials research with patients on steering committees and advisory boards and as part of teams that help advise formation and development of clinical trials. Um, in this article, the authors also give examples of formalized cancer patient advocate training programs. This is really a critical way for patients and patient advocates to empower themselves on how to best advise on cancer research and clinical trials. Additionally, there are opportunities of partnering on publications. Um, this is an example in our own neuroendocrine community um, on an article entitled Unmet Needs in the International Neuroendocrine Tumor Community, Assessment of Major Gaps from the Perspective of Patients, Patient Advocates, and Net Healthcare Professionals. I'm um, looking in a little bit more detail at some of the um, organizations that were involved. This is a really perfect example of an international effort that includes patient advocacy organizations and the physician community. So the future of partnership, partnership is really essential in net patient care. Patient advocates really belong in all of the places where decisions are being made about them. The medical community needs to be intentional and deliberate in ways to include and partner with patients. And certainly in my role as president of NANETS, we are very much committed to that. And the patient community should seek ways to be educated partners. And I think that that um, article that I gave an example of demonstrating many opportunities and ways in which patients can educate themselves. So I think now is the time, and I really look forward to future opportunities of um, partnering with the net patient community and seeing how we can um, work together to improve research for patients with NETS. Thank you.